Good evening, everybody. I am DK Death Control, and tonight we are going to be playing Glyph. We're going to be doing a 100% playthrough, which means all chapters, all collectibles, and all secrets. This video was requested. Uh, I have done all of these chapters deathless before and goldened them. But this video, I want to do just a single segment video, so I will probably not be doing anything deathless. Uh, the hardest parts for me especially are the berries, so I'll probably be dying a fair amount in those. But some people have actually done full clear golden runs, so I'll link some of those videos in the description if you're interested. Uh, there will be plenty of spoilers in this, uh, and I will be going through the different secrets as they appear and giving you the solutions. If you don't want to see those, I will give you warnings and timestamps so you can go ahead and skip right over those. Uh, so with that in mind, let's begin. And right off the bat here, we spawn into this screen, which is basically the end screen from uh, Sib's Crane A-side. And we get a little bit of continuity between the Sib and Glyph universes. And the first thing that we see is that actually neutrals are disabled in this chapter, uh, which is a decision that is uh, mildly controversial. I love neutrals. I hate having them taken away from me. Uh, but it does make the gameplay better in this chapter, so just bear with it uh, and uh, try to enjoy the chapter for what it is. And right at the start, we have this little secret area uh, above the spawn point, and we have a little clock over there. And so if we come back over here, then we can read this, and we have these four symbols, which will appear again later. And this is really the point where uh, the no neutrals thing starts to become evident because we cannot climb this uh, area normally with neutrals. We have to use just the other tech. So let's get into the level. And right at the start, we have our first secret. So, if you don't want spoilers to this, go ahead and skip to the timestamp that is on screen. So, what this is, is essentially uh, the... This is teaching you the code in the level. And so, the symbols on the bottom in blue are actually math equations. The numbers, of course, are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so uh, the way that the boxes are linked are actually operations. And so on the left side, it teaches us that the operation that is sort of the two dots in the middle is actually multiplication. And on the right side, the uh, top and bottom dots are a different operation and that operation is subtraction and I will have all of the equations uh, put up on screen so you can see what they represent and so finally the last few equations which are more complicated actually teach us to ignore the standard rules of arithmetic and instead of doing multiplication first we actually just do everything from left to right and that's important to keep in mind. And so uh, once we know how to do the math, we look at the red uh, symbols on top. And if we go ahead and work those equations out, the first one we get 
uh, 4 times 3 minus 1, which is 11, and then we get 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 5, and then we get 3 times 3 times 3 minus 2, which is 25, and so if we convert those numbers to letters, we get the letters K-E-Y, and we get that this is a key. So, now we know what the code is, uh, let's move on. And so here is the first clue that we get. Again, spoilers, so you can skip ahead if you don't want to know what this is. Once we start to decipher these letters, uh, we turn all of the equations into numbers, numbers into letters, and we get the message glyph up always. And so when we see that symbol, sort of the circle with the line from the top to the bottom, we know that that symbol represents glyph up always. And what that means, we'll find out later. And before we leave, let's go ahead and pick up our first berry. So aside from the secrets, I'm going to be sort of trying to speedrun. Um, you might see some weird strats, uh, and of course I might die, but uh, we're just going to try and breeze through these screens uh, and get to the end as fast as we can. Uh, let's see, this one's kind of hard. Oh, you know what? I actually want to turn better refills off. Yeah. I don't really need that. And just like that, we're at the next checkpoint. This area has a couple secrets we gotta grab.
Uh, oops, I did this wrong. <laughs> well, let me try again. Hold up. First, I want to grab the berry, and we have to go over the portal. Okay, and now another secret. This one is pretty hard to find. And here we are in the void section. So this section, uh, there are four of these throughout the level. They are pretty well hidden and we're going to need to go through these to get the heart. Oh my goodness, I died right at the end. Alright, moving on to the second checkpoint. There is a... oops, I died. Uh, there is a nice little skip right at the end of this screen, so uh, if I can get there without dying, I'll show you that. Okay, here comes the next code. So for this one, we decipher the letters, and this one says glyph right first, left second. So we're just going to go ahead and keep that. And there's another funny strat right at the end of this screen, too. Turns out you can just duck right through those spinners, and they won't kill you. both hard to find and to collect. So now we come to a screen that I like to call the slot machine. This is a very difficult screen, especially for golden runs. It's quite hard to become consistent at it. Let's see if I can get it. 
first try. Let's go. This is another berry that is quite hard for me. And here's an easy berry to miss. After you get that transition, you gotta turn back around. Kind of a tough berry to get, too. And before moving on, let's explore a little. Hmm, interesting little area. And we find our second void section. And there's that little secret area from earlier.
There is a nice little cheese strat on this screen. Yep, we can just go over the spinners there. And here comes our next code. So, we take a moment to uh, decrypt the code, and this one says glyph down first, left second. So, we're going to keep that one in mind. We are coming up on the next void area, uh, so let's get over there. Need to save that pink refill, come over to this side of the block, and go right in there. And at this point, you're probably noticing that these four symbols here are the four symbols we saw at the start. And those symbols are also on the codes that we find on the tables around the level. So those are, I suppose, the four glyphs. And each one sort of represents a season. One more berry to get before going in the portal. couple easy ones right at the start there. Oh man, one more time. But yeah, this is why some of the berries are really hard to find, because like this one I definitely did not find my first playthrough. This one is pretty well hidden. And especially in this checkpoint, some of the berries are, are just really hard to find. Oh, 
My bad. Now here is another really well hidden one. Okay, and this is the last code. So, we decipher this one, and this one says, Glyph down always. So, now that we have all four of those codes, we will be able to use them later. Nice and easy skip right here. Just climb to the bottom and dash through. Okay, this is uh, also one of the hardest berries in the level, I think. So, I think there's a checkpoint there, but just cross screens anyways. That can definitely be done without an ultra, but it is quite hard to do it. Don't even need that refill down there. And so, uh, again, let me just uh, cross screens to take a checkpoint. So this is the final void section, and this too can be done without an ultra, but I'm not exactly sure how. The ultra is the easiest and most natural way, so let's, uh, let's get that done. Final void section. And with that, we are now ready to get the heart at the end of the level. This screen also has an incredibly hard berry.
So if you're skipping the berry, you would normally just uh, go up and to the left, but if you want the berry, you have to come all the way back down. Yeah, whew! Nice, getting that first one. So we should be at uh, 29 berries, because I know that there are three remaining in this checkpoint. Uh, yep, 29 berries. Just wanted to... song memories uh memories 2 specifically is uh this is my favorite song from the glyph ost when the music kind of kicks up on the screen and the drum tracks come in.
Ah, oh, I did some climbing up. I shouldn't have done that. Usually don't run out of stamina on this screen. So I don't have to climb, that's why I saved my stamina. And so, if you were playing this level for any percent, you would normally climb to the top of the tower to finish the level, but we are going for 100%. So here we see the four glyphs opened up these four gates. That's what we get for doing the void sections. And so now we get to go down here and do the final challenge. And in this area, we learn that we have these uh, lighter colored barriers, which actually don't kill you. They just sort of warp you back. So uh, we're going to be using that fact uh, soon. Okay, here we go. So now we have to use the fact that these warp you to grab that pink refill to get through. And on this screen we have to do it again. To get teleported with the bubble and get this nice little glitch. One final message, and if we go ahead and decode this one, this one says, Dance Beneath the Glyphs. So uh, we're going to see what that means in a moment, but there's the four symbols that we saw at the beginning of the level and throughout. And as we come over here, we see we have the glyphs. And so now we're going to use those codes 
uh, that we found throughout the level to put in the secret code and unlock the heart. So we look at this and we see that there are two reds and two blues. And the blue one we know is Glyph down first, left second. So the first time the blue appears, that's going to be down. The second time it's going to be left. And the red's the same, Glyph right first, left second. Uh, the yellows are always going to be down, and the pinks are always going to be up. And in the two instances where the, the are stacked, first we have that pink on top of red, and then we have the blue on top of yellow. In those instances, the pink and red are going to come together to make up right, and so that's going to be an up right dash, and the blue and uh, yellow are going to c come together to make down left, so it's eight uh, a sequence of eight dashes and that's going to unlock the heart and the dash sequence I'll tell you right now is down down upright down up down left up left so let's put it in and finish the level Alright, not bad. Just barely over 40 minutes for a full clear run with uh, all the secrets and not too many deaths. Well, that was pretty good. So now we're coming up on the season sides. These levels have no collectibles in them. Uh, we are just gonna basically run through them and beat them. Uh, the first five of them are all pretty short, so hopefully I won't die too much. Won't have a lot of commentary, uh, but from here on out for the rest of the video, there's no more secrets, so don't worry about it. And then at the very end, we're going to get one more level, which is a bit longer than the season sides, but still not too long. So we're already more than halfway done just from finishing Glyph. So let's get into it. And you'll notice uh, I'm using a few maybe not intended strategies, or maybe some intended shortcuts. I'm not entirely sure, but just trying to do what I can to make this level a little easier. Okay, this is the screen with the demo, so here we go. Nice, got a first try.
All right, pretty good springside. There's a really funny strat on the screen. Let me see if I can show it off. There it is. Yeah, normally we would have to loop back and use that uh, spring on the first block, but we can skip it. Another little strat here with these swap blocks, you can either uh, just do the wave dash off them like that, or you can just land on top of them and hyper like that. In this level I like doing the wave dashes, but later on do the hyper here. Yeah, later on uh, I'll probably be doing the hyper a little more. And that is the fall side. 
Or excuse me, the summer side. I always get the summer and fall mixed up. So anyways, after the summer side, next up is the winter side. And the winter side is probably the hardest season side. There are some tough screens in here, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. If you like the climbing section from the winter part of Glyph, then uh, there's a lot more of that here. Fortunately, there are some skips if you know where you're going. This is a notoriously difficult screen, by the way. And this next screen, I like to call this screen Bingo because this screen can just randomly kill you sometimes, but I think that was fixed. This screen has a very interesting shortcut, which I think was intended. So let's go over there. If you grab this block, you can just sneak up here through the spinners and not have to go around to the left. And Winter Void is uh, probably the hardest void from any of the season sides. The hardest part about this is that you pretty much have to slow bubble throughout because you need to time the bubbles uh, to line up with the moving blocks. So no fast bubbling. Thank you. 
Yeah, the screen's pretty hard. Okay, there we go. That's the end of the winter side. And so next up is actually the fall side. And this one is my favorite. I love the fall side. It's just got really good gameplay. Uh, the void section's really fun. So let's get into it. There's a funny uh, swag strat you can do here. Let's see if I can pull it off. <laughs> there we go. The normal strat would be to go around to the right. And uh, the Fall Void is so fun. You can just fast bubble all of it and you get these pink two dash bubbles. It's just such a fun section. Thank you. 
All right, and now we're moving on to the final season side, which is the void side. The void side is a good bit shorter than all the other ones, uh, but the screens on average are a bit harder. So let's get through this chapter. And here's where uh, we can do some of those hypers from the swap block. And up here we find the cassette tape. And that's the end of the level. Like I said, this one is considerably shorter than the rest. But now we unlocked the Void Side B Side. And this level is basically just Void gameplay, but lots more and harder. It is a considerably longer level than the rest of the season sides. But it's a lot of fun. I really love this level. So let's jump into the final chapter. And this over here is where the golden berry spawns if you're trying to golden this. Thank you. 
Okay, now this screen has a strat, which is actually not just a meme, it's actually a good strat. I used this in my golden run, it looks pretty funny, so let's go for it and see if we can get it. I'm just skipping all of the touch switches here. And we get a nice spiked wall bounce right at the end, and that is actually very well set up. It's actually really consistent. Not done yet. There's a nice little secret up here. Cliff. movement in these levels is just so smooth, it just feels kind of like dancing almost. It's just a really fun level pack to run. Alright, and that's it!
So there it is for you. That is the entire glyph pack. Let's take a look at the stats. Not too bad. It is a pretty challenging level pack. Uh, it, I have played it a lot. It took a long time before I got to this point where I can beat most of the levels in just a handful of deaths. But it's a lot of fun. I really love these levels. I'm really happy to replay them. They're so cool. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. Until next time, have a good night.